Hello everyone. Today I'm going to discuss about my work experience here in Germany. I think it's an interesting topic and it's something I always ask, especially foreigners when I meet them that are not native German, how they got jobs, what kind of work they do. And I always find it an interesting topic because in every new country, um, it's always a little bit different and some places it's harder or easier to find work. So here is all the work that I've done in Germany and how I kind of got into those experiences. So starting back in 2015, when I lived here the first time, I had just come out of traveling and done like a lot of different work. But one of the most common things that I had done was teaching. So I got my TEFL certificate a while back, uh, which is like a teaching English as a foreign language, or there's also TESOL, which is teaching English as a second language, which is a certificate. I did a um, hundred hour certificate where you learn about um, different ways of teaching and um, different requirements in teaching English and um, different ways that you can do it or different um, activity examples. Um, and through that certificate, it allowed me to work in a lot of different countries. So when I came to Germany the first time, I was not intending to stay, but when we decided that we were going to stay, I thought, okay, now I'm studying German. At the time, I was only in a level, I wasn't in a level, I was starting A1. I had not had any German experience. I only had a couple German phrases at that point. And so I thought there's no way I will be able to get um, a job using my university degree. So I decided that I would try to teach again. So I took my resume to a bunch of different schools in the area, um, some for kids, some from, for adults. And um, finally at one school, I offered to do a sample lesson with them um, if, if someone was gone or wasn't going to show up or was on vacation or something, especially in schools like that, because it is a freelance position, it's really hard to find people to fill in those spots. And so luckily um, through that process and saying that and offering to do one free class, they saw me and they liked me and they ended up bringing me in. So through that, I was teaching kids at different ages, primarily in uh, elementary school or Grundschule um, age. And uh, I preferred to work definitely like anything under 10 is, is, I would say, more of my strong point. So I did that. I also did academies where um, on different breaks, I would have kids for a week at a time and we would learn different American games and um, do different activities based off of topics like superlatives or prepositions or different English topics and I would always try to make them like engaging and uh, exciting for the kids. Now at the same time I also got a job teaching for an adult school uh, where they would send me to different companies and I would be teaching a group from, uh, from that company. I did not stay doing that for very long. I didn't like it so much. Um, I had I met some cool German adults through it. However, what I found is that um, with kids, you can be more creative and playful and that really like engages them and it gets them wanting to learn a language. Whereas adults are really focused on um, grammar and why does a sentence um, end this way? Why does a word end this way? Why does a word begin this way? Uh, why is it spelled this way? Uh, and a lot of specific, really specific grammar questions, some in which there wasn't answers for, which was um, hard for them to accept, some of which there was answers for, but grammar is just not my strong point. And so I felt like I couldn't offer um, high enough level classes that I would want to. So I decided that I didn't want to do that anymore. And I ended up just teaching children for the rest of the time that I was here. I also, through teaching English, met families that were interested um, and I started babysitting for a family um, because babysitting is usually um, quite interesting if you're a native English speaker for Germans because it gives their children an opportunity to have a native speaker um, at home speaking with them 
the family had asked me um, to not speak any German with the kids and try to just speak English so that they had the opportunity. Um, and they had also spoken a lot of English in their home to try to get their children um, more fluent in English. They were quite young kids, I think around the ages of five and six. And I also did that uh, when I was here the first time. Then fast forward, that was in 2015. I came back in 2018 and I went back for a short time to the English school that I was working at, but I quickly decided that I didn't want to stay doing that. Now I went to the Pedagogische Hochschule uh, or the PIHA, which is uh, where you can study education here in Germany. Um, in the region that I live in or where I live in at the time, the university did not offer educational degrees, which meant that if you wanted to study education, you had to do it at the PIHA. Now, my problem was that I had a university degree. I had studied communications and I was wanting to continue that to finish an education degree, but because it was not a university they could not compare my classes one to one which would have meant that i would have had to start all over for i don't know five to seven years whatever the amount of time it is to study education here in germany um, to be a Grundschule teacher so i made the decision i didn't want to do that i uh, had also through my communications degree thought that at one point i would want to uh, work in a business setting and so I thought great now's the time to try to use my degree and try to get some experience doing that and luckily uh, networking 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 it's a word you hear quite often and it is a very common way to find a job so when you move to a new country meet people get involved in groups get involved in clubs many of you have said this through that you'll meet people I had a German friend that luckily was working at a startup and got me the opportunity to have an interview and get into the company. It was a really early startup. So at the time they uh, didn't have like a defined position for me, but they like knew they needed the help, which I think is quite common in early startups. And so I was just trying to pull and fill roles um, as they came. And as the position developed, I went into our marketing team and became a part of our whole marketing team. Now, I don't want to get too much into um, what I do in work, but as I mentioned before, I've traveled to the States for work and it's given me different opportunities to learn a lot about different aspects of marketing and also business and watching how startups grow, which has been a really cool experience. But to say about a work environment or especially applying for new jobs, um, I don't have so much experience in that. So in terms of applying for other jobs, um, because it was through a networking experience that I got the job, I have tried to apply for jobs and gotten through first interview, but then made the decision that I didn't want to go forward with it. Um, and I'm not sure in the future how my level of German will affect me getting a job because my company is an international company. Um, it usually wasn't a problem and because I do speak some German, I'm able to sit in German meetings, especially now, and have a conversation or understand a lot of what's going on. Um, but I think for someone who doesn't speak any German, trying to get into a business setting can be quite hard. Um, what I've also heard and experienced from other friends is in Germany, you really need a degree. So. My job that I came into now, I would not have gotten it if I didn't have my degree. Um, so if you haven't studied, that's maybe something um, you need to first think about what you want to do. And then maybe you should look into doing an Ausbildung or a university degree. Uh, because here in Germany, papers really are, I would say, even above networking. In the States, you have like more flexibility with that, especially if you're like a genius in your in your field or what you're doing here in Germany, like they really want that paper. And I've seen a lot of people that have struggled finding non-freelancing work um, because of that. So I think luckily with my case, because I had a degree, I was able to get in that position. Now, in terms of working in my job and um, how I'm treated or am I treated differently because I'm a foreigner or I'm not a native German speaker. Luckily, I would say in my experience, that's not the case. People have been really friendly. 
And um, because it's an international setting, a lot of the people I work with are so fluent in, in English that they don't even think about if they're switching between English and German. And uh, I also work with a lot of engineers on their side. There's less people that speak fluent um, German, or sorry, fluent English, but because I'm always like trying and open to speak German, I think like it's allowed me to build connections with them. And, and even sometimes now we switch into English and we've built this kind of like comfort level with each other of being able to switch back and forth between both languages. So in an international setting like I'm in, there are times because we're a German business and we also have German customer, customers where I need to be able to, you know, write a correspondence or an email um, in German or maybe have like a short phone call in German. And of course, like in the beginning, that made me really anxious over time. You get over it and you just do it. And especially if you have a call on the phone, I mean, someone hears that you're a foreigner and they hear you're trying to speak German. And especially in the work environment, I find that most people are really nice about that, really friendly and really patient. Um, in fact, most people will ask you if you want to speak English and you need to fight to stay in German um, if you want that experience. So don't be scared to go out there and apply for jobs, even if you don't speak German. As I said, I would suggest that you try to take some classes, you try to learn and try to show that you're here living in this country, that you want to participate, that you want to speak the language, but also just be friendly, respect the culture, and I think that it will be fine and you'll fit in. So overall, that's my work experience this far in this country. We'll see how it goes moving forward. And I hope all of you have wonderful experiences. If you're a foreigner working here in Germany and you feel open to sharing what you do for work, or if you're a German and you work in an international environment, I'd be interested what your opinion, your feeling is when other people come in. Do you want them to speak German or do you, do you have that kind of requirement in your head or do you feel like open? Um, to just want to speak English, like how does that also feel for you? So share your stories. I'd love to read them. I'd love to have chats with you guys and have a wonderful day. See you in the next video. Bye.